Nobody can do blogging, by the way. There's nothing like this person knows than the other. There's nothing like that. It is only how you strategize on your... Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your guy Kabugu on Kabugu TV. And so today I'm back again with another banger video. Leo Madze ni mekuja hapa na mgeni. Ataji introduce to Kisonga Songa pole pole. Uh, guys, meanwhile, consider subscribing to this amazing family. Like my videos. Share my links. Let us grow. We grow together as a family. And never forget that great people look like me and you. So one on one, acha nifikie mgeni wangu tusikia na sema nini, tujue yeye ni nani, anapanga aje na anataka aje na nyinyi mafans wetu. Ama namna gani? So hello. Hello. Yeah, karibu sana Kabugu TV. We welcome you. We are happy to host you today. Oh, I'm grateful so. Ah, uh, tukuite nani? Pengine. Ah, am Iano Chieng, uh, Nico School of Arts and Social Sciences. Uh, I'm a politician and uh, a blogger at the same time. I'm the Magotia Samaki that you actually hear of. I'm a third year student. Yeah. Yeah, so Ma Magotia Samaki is, is a nickname or a real name? Yeah, Magotia Samaki is a, actually a nickname that actually I came with from high school. So uh, that is where the name started from. Why, 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 you decide, why, did, why did you decide to call yourself Magotia Samaki and not Ian Ocheng? Uh, actually, uh, Ian Ocheng is my name, but uh, again, I like fun. And actually, Magoti Sesamaki is all about fun. So uh, I, I, don't, I don't have that reason why I actually called myself as Magoti Sesamaki. But at the same time, I know at the back of your benches, I know you keep laughing about that name. So it's just for fun. Anyway. So you are, you, you, are, you are known, you are known like Magoti Sesamaki. That is how may, most, most of the people, most of uh, your friends know you as. Yeah, I can say that actually Magotia Samaki is an, uh, has been uh, like outstanding to other name of like Ian Ocheng because at, at some point actually I was somewhere but introducing myself with Ian, people were like, oh, you are the Magotia Samaki. So like I, and that, uh, there's a time that I was starting like to actually leave that name until I got that, oh, wana nijua na jina sana kuliko ile ngine. So actually Magotia Samaki accepted it as my name anyway. Oh, that, that is awesome, Magoti Samaki. Welcome so much to Kabugu TV. So I knew you, Magoti Samaki, as a blogger and as a young politician. That is why I decided to get into you one-on-one. -on -one. Nikuletea pa Kabugu TV to pick a story kidogo kusiana politics. And meanwhile, as a blogger, tunaweza kuwa tunapiga story hapa, lakini pia tunajenga mtu mwingine. Maybe why did you decide to be a blogger? Or when did you start? First of all, when did you start to be a blogger? Oh, actually, like, okay, uh, I like the fun of interaction. So in the matter of blogging or anything, actually, by the time that I actually reached Moi, I was actually engaged in politics. So the first politics that I did was at first year. That was 2019, 2020. That is at around 33rd Muso. So that's where I started the matter of blogging because you were to support your leader. So the blogging is just, like, for fun of politics. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you do it just as fun. Yeah, I do it just for fun and politics. So, like, uh, actually, I like the, the engaging. I like the interaction part of it so that, actually, you support your leader. At the same time, you blog. To your mind and you decided, let me be a blogger now. Let me try blogging and not something else. Actually, actually, okay. The, the issue of blogging actually came in when I was indulged into politics. So, like, uh, actually, I had to. It, it forced me to because by that time, uh, we used to talk. We used to talk much in that group. So it's about the politics, like people like me. And actually, we were really talkative in that group. So that's where it started. It started from you about the politics. So I had to block. I had to support somebody. And I had actually to actually involve the other members of our group. Maybe did the blogging uh, uh, bring out good results? or What happened? Uh, on on coming to the because I, I by then by then I think you are blogging for someone called Abdi Hakim, but whatever happened, he never he he, he never g got what he wanted. So maybe as a blogger, did, do you feel like you failed as a person at personal level or or, or even at a group level? Okay, uh, actually, politics is a matter of losing and uh, actually winning. So actually, we happened to not to get what we wanted. Uh, because we lost it. So maybe it was a matter of strategy or anything because at first we came into field late when other people started campaigning. So actually for the first time, I think I lost. But to the same due time, actually we were with Akim, we were with Denzel, 
and uh, Denzel won, so like it was a half a half, so nothing so, much. <laughs> so you're happy that maybe you, you tried and you provided, you, you did something good. Uh, so as we move, maybe let me ask you this. As a blogger, are you paid or what happens with blogging? How do you and how do you get cash? Maybe, you know, sometimes there, there are these bloggers who are well known, like those, those are the top level, like maybe let us talk about Itumbi. These are bloggers who are being paid. As a blogger, as a young blogger, do you, are you, do you get paid? Actually, okay. For me, I don't get paid anyway. So like my. So you just do it for free. Yeah, I do. For here at Moy, I do it for free, because like I understand that everybody's a student, and even to some point actually, if I have that loyalty that actually belongs to you, then it means I can even use my funds to support you. So it's not matter that I have to get paid. There, there is this guy called Ramushel Media. I hope you know him. Yeah, I know now. This guy was once telling us, Kabugu TV, he said that I get paid 200 bob per day if I blog for one person. Each person pay me 200 bob. And he was telling us this, like at this, at this political period, he gets up to maybe 2,000 bob per day, shillings, Kenyan shillings, that is 2,000 shillings. And... That was a good amount, quite a good amount as a blogger and as a student at the same time. Maybe why have you not had that idea? You start even charging. Actually, I, I don't say that I don't receive money from actually those people who are vying. But uh, in the other hand, like Mimi, I'm not that oriented to money because like I know both of us are students. In the fact that you are actually vying, I know this is just ambition. It's just ambition that you're trying to actually get the base of it. So I don't pressure you so that actually you do what you finance me on blogging blogging everybody can do blogging by the way there's nothing like this person knows than the other there's nothing like that it's only how you strategize on your politics that's all but, but, but you know blogging it is quite of those people who have massive followers ma ma massive status viewers and uh, any they have big groups they can talk and they're, they're somehow let us say influential that is yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for, for blogging, one of the things that you have to have that those viewers, you must have those viewers and that those people who actually knows you in person. So those are the people that we can that we can make to be in your cage so that if you are blogging and if you're supporting somebody, then the people around you, the people that are viewing, those your friends are the ones that are going to get you there. That is now where the politics start from. And now as a blogger, are you thinking of getting into politics like campus politics, maybe to be a delegate or something of the sort? Okay, okay. Being a delegate, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not yet actually satisfied to be a delegate. Um, only like I'm going to get indulged in the outside politics. So from here, uh, I'm not that having that interest. I only support if I have the loyalty, I support you with everything. But for here, I don't have that much interest. But stance change, I can also be a delegate. There's no problem. That is awesome, and we still wish you all the best in everything that you're going to do. Now let me ask you this, Bona Magoti Samaki. Uh, you said you're so much into politics, and you like politics. That is why you are also a political blogger. Why did you like politics and not something else? Why did you choose to be a political blogger and not an advertise, not a doing advertisement, maybe advertising like shops here in this stage or something of the sort? Now, actually, okay, politics is just back from my papa's, actually, the father to my father. So, actually, it started from that point. So, we have uncles that are actually indulging in politics to make one, my MCA, Pale. Actually, he's going for the second seat. So, these things, all of it, like, uh, I see it like an influence. If it, they were there, then it means that we can also try. And uh, actually, in just recent few, I was asked if I'm like actually uh, standing as a delegate. And uh, the same, same thing, when I actually decided to vote, actually be into politics, my, the same, same uncle asked me that, actually, if you want to be in the politics, actually stand, then I will support you. So it is something that is there. I'm only like just embracing what somebody started. Wow, that, that is good. So you, you are so much into politics and maybe we are hoping to see you somewhere in the few coming years. And so, uh, and, and that is good. Uh, now that you're doing all this, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Yeah, okay, actually. As Magoti Asamaki, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Now, actually, in the next five years, now for one, it might be actually funny enough, but the name Magoti Asamaki might not be again and existing because of it is uh, it's not an official name but now in five years actually what i, I will be like I, I want to be in that 
politicals of the government that is the outside government that's what i want to do you have any mentor at the top level maybe at the national at the national level maybe someone whom who, who you can tell people that this is my political mentor this is the, the one who 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 actually give me the spirit of getting into politics now actually if we talk of mentor then actually i will regard the one that is so close to me so i don't have a mentor at the national politics i have a mentor at our lower constituency and ward levels so that is what i can say as <laughs> not not at the national politics we support because of maybe we i only support because of some ambition i will see somebody like for now i say that it is well to give raila but at my personal level those whom i have experience with at the personal level are my uncles and the ones that are in mps so that's what i can say that is good uh another question let me ask you this you know in life we always have a lot of challenges when we are going to do whatever we, we like doing do you think that as a blogger is there any challenge that you fa- you face as a blogger at personal level what are the some of the challenges you face as at individual level is there any challenge that makes it sound hard to be a blogger actually like okay i don't I, as per now i don't see so many challenges it's only that like okay here the elders there are some people like i can say in a blogging there's there are threats anyway there are threats and if we go outside there are more threats but as per now when we are in the campus i don't see any threat because we are almost elders anyway so here i don't have any threats maybe if threats come actually when we are at advanced levels yeah now magoti samaki what is your truth about blogging what keeps you going as a blogger actually uh, what keeps me going just i just love blogging i just love blogging i'm i'm doing it for fun i'm doing it for fun to us and as a blogger what stops you from making mistakes what stopped me from making a step mistake actually i didn't get you what stops you like you know we make mistakes as a blogger you can get into a mistake and get yourself in trouble that you did this and it was actually bad now what stops you from doing such things actually for anything for anything blogging is all about passing information so in instances where you have unverified information or information you can't pass them so that is one thing that you have to actually get to hand so that you don't get indulged into issues that are going to interfere with your data actually or whatever you are blogging wow that is awesome we are happy to have you today here at kabugu tv it is our pleasure this has been our guest magoti ya samaki umesikia venye anajiita but as we end this show wacha tuambie maybe tunaweza mpata wapi Maybe someone might be in need of a blogger. Unaweza kuntaka blogger mwenye anaweza fikisha information yako kwa watu wengi. Nao here today nimewaletea magoti ya samaki. Anaitwa Ian Ocheng. Acha Ian Ocheng atuambie tutampata wapi maybe kwa digital platforms. Now actually uh, in, digi- in digital platforms actually um, um, at Facebook uh, you can follow at uh, Ian Ocheng. Uh, Instagram Ian Wilp and uh, again no other platform apart from that so they only that maybe Twitter Twitter is Ian Ocheng oh well, that is awesome so bwana Ian Ocheng maybe can you remind them to subscribe to Kabugu TV now actually now it was awesome to actually be with you so to actually engage in a young person like this actually subscribe uh, comment and keep it going and we wish him all the best anyway yeah we wish you i also wish you all the best in everything that you are going to do as a blogger we wish you good luck with everything we are hoping that you are going to give us your best we are hoping that as a blogger you are going to really perform at your best level so minwell guys i still remind you to consider subscribing to this grow we grow together as a family that has been our guest ian ocheng see you next time